Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I am going to show you how to use your Canva website template. First of all, I just want to say thank you so much for choosing this template and I wish you all the best in your endeavors and I really hope that this acts as a catalyst for growth in your real estate business and your ability to generate higher quality leads. So this tutorial is three parts. It will go really quickly so you can get straight to editing, but it's crucial that you watch this first so that you have success with this website. Of course, if there are questions that you still have after watching this, then I want you to feel free to comment below your questions and concerns, or you can message me directly through Etsy. Etsy has an incredibly simple process to help you contact and resolve your issues with your seller, so definitely take advantage of that. We'll be going over how this site works and operates, how to edit your site and maintain mobile optimization, and how to leverage this website as an asset in your business. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so before we start, I do want to put the disclaimer that Canva is only offering web services to Canva Pro users. So that means that you can't publish and use this website if you don't have Canva Pro. I really highly recommend having Canva Pro as a real estate professional anyway, so that you can develop other design assets for yourself. So I don't view this as a bad thing at all, but just make sure to use the link in my description to sign up for 30 days free. Websites are different from other websites. There are very simple websites that are meant to be used kind of as a means to an end. They're best used when trying to get people to follow through on a call to action, like signing up for your email list, uh, we have that included in your website or just starting the beginning sequence of your sales process. So starting to browse your current listings, maybe inquiring on one of them or just reaching out to you for one of these services. Being said, simplicity is the name of the game with Canva websites. Don't try to turn this into a huge blog or create massive paragraphs of information for the person who's using your website. Just keep it simple, to the point, and choose your words wisely. I've included intentional copies so that you can not have to reinvent the wheel as you are introducing yourself and talking about what sets you apart as an agent. Um, so definitely take advantage and read this before you delete it and put in your own words. Opt for choosing words that are highly converting and will speak to the kind of clients that you want to look for. What I'm going to take a look at is how the second page and just your bonus pages integrate with the website as a whole. In order to use the second bonus web page, make sure that you link it to the buttons that will take your site user to that page. For example, I want the clients to learn more about what differentiates me as a representative for buying, selling, and investing. So I'll link my bonus pages to my service section like this. So let's see what that looks like. So you would go to publish website, click continue, publish, and it's going to publish your design. It's going to take a second, and then it's going to give you an option to copy or to view the website. We're going to view the website. And let's scroll down to services. So what it looks like when you have it is it actually opens up as a separate page. It feels like one continuous website. And what I would recommend is hyperlinking your homepage to this logo, whatever logo you put up here. Hyperlink your web page so that if they're done looking and they've gotten in touch with you or they they're done scrolling on this page, they can scroll back up and click this that's very familiar and then it'll take them back to this home page move on to actually editing your home page or I guess your website as a whole so editing your colors changing the fonts that's all very intuitive so we're gonna talk about the most important things for you to remember as you are editing this to make the site function well. Um, the first thing I do want to know is feel free to use Canvas stock imagery wherever you feel like it's appropriate. 
obviously you wouldn't put canvas stock imagery in your current listings but you could very easily put it here you could keep these images here if you feel like that matches your aesthetic um, and information sections like this you can definitely use canvas um, pictures and the nice thing is is that they will give you recommendations a lot of these are just great um, and you can type in I love to type in like modern house um, you can type in modern furniture whoops furniture <laughs> furniture okay and the thing that you would want to do is click free and then yeah look at these they're pretty great um, there's pretty much anything like if you like modern you could probably type in vintage or mid-century modern and you would be able to come up with a lot of really great options to just have stock photos on your website and I think that's really helpful because if you don't have homes that you have sold or, um, you know, like people that you've represented in the past that have a style that matches your aesthetic, you can just go ahead and plop that in here to hopefully attract clients that would, you know, that have homes similar to this. And in the future, you would be able to use those pictures instead of stock. For link every single button make sure that you don't miss that I do want to show um, if you do link something it will make the text underline if you don't like that you can just come right here and click the underline and it will still remain linked if we check it there is a link there but there's no underline so the link will function if the underline isn't there um, it's totally just a personal preference thing. I don't love the look of underlined links. So, and I feel like with a website, I mean, it looks like a button. So people are going to click it. It doesn't need to be underlined, but that's just a little trick to get rid of that underline. Make sure that all of the links are working and that every function, uh, every button functions as it should. And the best way to do that is to, after you've published your website, um, send it to yourself, go through and touch every link and make sure that it works. And then once you feel like it's good, send it to someone that you trust that will actually go through and test it themselves and make sure that all of the links work as they should and will point out if they don't. It looks good on mobile. The way that you do that is you come to preview and depending on what your preference is, you don't have to click and toggle on this resize on mobile. Um, if you scroll and you see how this is a little bit different um, from when, from this. So this is if it is not resized on mobile. So everything is exactly how it is on Canva. So it almost has the look of a desktop website. Um, I have optimized this design so that if you do prefer this style, you can keep it that way. But if you resize it on mobile, I do find that reading is a little bit easier because it resizes the font. And it just, it feels a little bit more like an actual mobile site. So personal preference, whichever one you decide that you want, um, I would decide prior to starting your editing process because if you want to have it more optimized for mobile use, then every time that you edit a section, I would recommend previewing it. I would hate for you to feel like you're finished editing, you've edited this entire site, and then you click on preview and you are looking at the mobile design and realize, I don't like that, it doesn't, it looks a little bit chaotic and messy. So definitely just almost like hopefully you have a habit of, you know, saving your work, definitely get in the habit of previewing your work. 
Um, I guess that can be misleading. Canva does automatically save your stuff, so don't worry about that. Just worry about previewing your work as you're going along so that you aren't wasting any time. Last thing while you're editing is just to make sure that you've checked all of these things off. I mean, you can't actually click them, um, but just make sure that you have done all of these things. And once all of these are done, then your website is ready for the world. You can send it off to your future clients. You can link it to your Instagram, to your TikTok, to whatever social media you choose to use, and it will be ready. But just make sure that you click this trash button and it will delete the page. But I would wait until the very end so that you don't forget anything on this list. Talk about is treating your website as an asset. And I just want to quickly remind you that you need to use this website as a means to an end. You likely won't lock in a client just by having a good looking website or good looking social media, but you will likely lock in a client and earn their business if you get them onto your email list or if you give them an incredible CMA that goes above and beyond or if you can really speak to that person individually as you're talking about your services. Those are the things that are going to eventually make your website visitors an actual client. So your website can definitely help you generate clients, but it needs to be treated as an asset, not just something that's really quickly thrown together. My final piece of advice for you is to have a goal in mind for your website. Whether it's to grow your email list, build strong relationships with potential sellers, or whatever that may be, that will help you have a website that clearly outshines the rest. I mean, if you just even think, how many realtors do you know that even have a website that has an email list <laughs> option on there? Most don't. Most do not go above and beyond with their website. So you being here tells me that you are someone that is definitely going to succeed and really grow your business and just reach new heights with it. So good luck and remember that you can always reach out for help. Go ahead and subscribe and I'll be uploading more tutorials for other products in the shop. So if you want to watch the tutorials before you buy, I know that can be really helpful to get an in-depth look at what you might be purchasing. So good luck and I will see you next time.